Jackie. Jackie, nice, nice to meet you. Paulo. Paulo. Nice, to, nice meet to meet you. you. How's everything? Good. Are yeah. you enjoying the Women's Expo? Absolutely. That's great. Absolutely. <laughs> Do you think you have time to join me in an episode of Van Therapy and oh, talk about whatever is on your mind or sure. whatever comes yes. out on the wheel? Sure. Yes. Okay, come yes. on That's in. It. Watch your step in your beautiful All outfit right. there. Appreciate it. Thanks for the invite. Absolutely. <laughs> This van is amazing. <laughs> Thank you yeah. so much. I'd like to start by playing the game Spinning the Wheel. Is that okay? Oh, okay. Let's do it. All right, so yeah. we'll spin the wheel. I'll set the timer for five minutes. You tell me whatever comes to your mind from talking about whatever it lands on. Okay. okay. And if you don't want to talk about it, then you don't have to. <laughs> then we'll talk about anything you need advice on. All okay. right. All right. Good. So give the wheel a Let's spin. Let's see. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> I love games. Hey, I know. Like games this. are fun. What do we got here? Uh, parenting? Parenting. Yes. yes. Do you have Perfect. kids? We have, we, we have two. Okay, here we go. Yes. There we go. There's the timer. <laughs> All right, there goes the timer. Okay, how's parenting going? Parenting's awesome. We have two kids, Matthew and Madison, seven year old, four year old. They're inseparable. Oh. Yeah. You have kids yourself? I do. She's yeah. 20. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. How's that? It's great. Actually, it's, I mean, it's great. We have a great relationship. It's been my favorite thing in the whole world to be a mom. And yeah, she's, there's nothing better than when they're off and out of your house and you're really proud of them and there's no issues. Right. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. So you have a ways to go. Right. Mm -hmm. So how's it going? It's good. It's a, you know, we try to keep them very independent as well. Mm -hmm. You know, we wanted to start them off very young. You know, we travel with them a lot. Um, they, we've been to many countries mm -hmm. and we want them to explore the world just like we did. You know, we take them along everywhere with us as well. I did so, that, yeah. and, I, and I think she is so much the better for it because right. they see cultures. I think the more you can offer travel to your kids, the, the better it is because by seeing things that are outside of their wheelhouse right. of their life, they right. they understand to be grateful. Right. They exactly. understand that people aren't all the same. You know, it's it's. What, what, what's been... They appreciate what's out there, right? Yeah, they appreciate yeah. what's they out do. there. They appreciate that's out there. That's kind of like the model we want them to grow up with. Mm, and we always right. told them, hey, make sure you guys take care of each other. You know, it's only you two. You don't have to worry about us, you know, right. at a very young age. We want you guys to just, you know, explore yourself, you know, because the world is out there for you guys to enjoy, right? And so you're not helicopter parents. No. You're the opposite of yes. parents. <laughs> that's great. Right. I mean, right. They're, they're saying that's not good. My job as a mom is to supply you with the most tools in your toolbox right. because here's what a helicopter parent does. A helicopter parent tries to stop life from happening. Yes. Yeah. What a toolbox parent does is they try to supply you with the tools to figure out how to handle everything life's going to throw at you because right. life is not going to stop happening exactly. no matter what you yeah. do to protect your kids from it. So the best thing I think you can do is supply them with how to handle when the things happen. That's great. Right? Yeah, that's great. That's it great is. advice. So how did you balance that out with your busy life, I'm sure, and then balance it with your personal life with your kids because like us, we have our own company as well. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we're away and you know, you know, they can't travel with us. You know, we try to still be there as parents. You know, I know it's very tough. Here's the thing, the things you communicate, the way that you treat them, the consistency you have right. with how you behave, I think far outweighs what they're gonna get from school or the television or mm -hmm. the other people in your community. I think those things are very, very important. Right. Meaning, I think the school environment is very important. I think limiting television is important. I think knowing who your friends are is important. I think the times that you are there, if they're filled with, you know, quality time, with yes. consistent behavior. I'm a big one about consistency. You right. Know, you can't, like, one time be going, let's throw our clothes all over the house. <laughs> or, you know, yeah. or, or, you know, be... Uh, not treating your things with respect and then another time be like I'm mad because this looks like a big mess right. you know right. like you have to and I'm just using that as a dumb example but like the consistency of setting boundaries I think that's a really big thing that you right. do a service to your children to have that right and then when you're whether you're there or not there if those rules and that that kind of 
parameters that you build for your family are right. consistent, they know that. You know, right. and the same thing with love. You mm -hmm. know, if you are not withholding or punishing with your love, right? You know, they know that whether you're there or not. You right. Know, they still have it. They still feel right. it. They still feel and it. They and, know it's there. And yeah. the other thing is, is it isn't a bad thing for kids to know that parents, that mommy and daddy, have to work hard. Right. Because where do you think money comes from? Where exactly. does the house come from? <laughs> right. Where does the, That's right. Where does the food come from? Where does yeah. whatever? Mm -hmm. Doesn't come without hard work. It is good for children. I mean, too much. We're so into the Insta everything. Insta. That is so true. I yes. just like Google Instagram, this in five yes. seconds. Yeah. I can know where to eat. I can know how to get yeah. there. Yeah. I can know whatever. So this instant thing is really happening. It's good yeah. for them to see that, you know, we have to work 12 hours a day. We have yes. to get up early. We have to go to this office. We do this. We do that. Like, that's what it takes. Right. It doesn't take, oh, I did this and I, you know, and now I'm done. I'm done, yeah. yeah. We try to get them involved yeah. as much as we can, you know. Absolutely. We let them know what, what we're doing on a daily day basis. Mm -hmm. You know, get them involved with the work, you know, that we do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do a great job of, like, you know, getting <laughs> I know. They, involved. They, they, like, suck up information like no other, yeah. right? Yeah, and they they're really, yeah. you can't underestimate that either. They are, you know, and, like, I, I remember I always... I mean, talk to like an adult because I, I never, I, I, I mean, you know, that's it sounds weird when you say that, but I always explain things through. Mm -hmm. You know, like one time we used to live in New York when she was like three years old, mm -hmm. and we were on the bus, and an older person got up, and so I had us get up and go to the back, and so that older person could have that seat. Right. And she's never forgotten. She looked at me, she's like, Why did we get up like that? And I explained, you know, right. oh, this is how you treat. An elder person and right. out of respect, like and they'll remember that. And yeah, and yeah. she totally did. They'll and I remember think that. Those too. are the little moments that build a human being. Right. You know. Yeah, we try to get them, like I said, involved as much as we can. You know, be there for them. Say, yeah. hey, this is where do they want to go. You know, this is what you want to do. And you know, Jackie does a great job with making sure she does the girly things and the boy <laughs> things do. with them. You know, so we try to bring them to our work-related environments as well so, so they can have see you what ever had any issues with parenting that have been difficult what's the most difficult thing I think the, the disciplining part right yeah. as far as like you know do they really understand when I say no right the power yeah. of no because everything just happens like if they were to do something wrong right and for them to fully understand that and then just kind of giving them an example from that yeah it's very challenging it's, sometimes it's challenging yeah. right because oh, yeah. you have two sets of minds, right? You have a, a boy who thinks one way, <laughs> Madison thinks another way, right? Yeah. So she's thinking, why is he and why is mommy and daddy are saying this to him, but they say something different to me? Why do yeah. they? I, I don't know. I think, I, think, I think it's just, you know, genetics or something, right? A boy thinking one way, a girl thinking another oh, way. Oh, you mean yeah. you don't say different things. No, she yeah. She perceives it differently. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. see. Okay. So we would say exactly the same, and they're just like, well, no, this is, you know, I'm going this route, and right. Matthew's going another route. Right. We're like, hey, both of you, we're talking to you both at the same time yeah. That's really about funny. one thing. And they're yeah. hearing it totally different. Exactly. That also yeah. might be the age thing. Exactly. It might be age. Yeah, they're inseparable. They, you know, they complement each other. You know, they help each other out. You know, Matthew does a great job <laughs> with Madison helping out with her dance classes Maybe. and her yoga class and her tumbling. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're into yeah. everything. Yeah. And then, Madison supports Matthew with her his baseball and soccer and basketball. So yeah. is the the key you think is that you, the best thing you've done with having siblings is to get them to being supporting each other? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's key for I think just for anyone, right? You want to mm -hmm. you know like with what we do, we support each other in everything that we do with with our work. You know, if she's right. going through a hard time, she's going through an up time. We support each, I support her, you know, whatever she wants, likewise, and vice versa right. to me as well. And right. we want our kids to see that, you know, hey, be there for each other no matter what. Right. You know, I'm sure, you know, you guys will, you know, have disagreements here and there, but 
you should, you know, they, they take care of each other and they see that we do it. It kind of emulates like you guys the parents. Have a very loving yeah, you know. it really definitely big. trickles in because we just had open house for our son, yeah. uh, and one of the things that the teacher would say would be our son. He's always rooting um, for his other classmates. Yeah, like uh, he is just a really supportive kid. Like you can do it. Keep trying. Don't yeah. give up. Like he actually says those words. So I think it really. Well, just, he's getting that from you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that that's amazing. You must be so proud about that. That's really yeah, cool. we are when we hear feedback like that. Yeah, yeah. No, that's cool. really that's incredible. Yeah. that's really amazing. Especially yeah. in our daily lives, you know, what, what well, we do. Well, and yeah. and to have that generosity in in a kid, like our society. One of the reasons I started this show is because I feel like our society right now is is a little rough. Like right. not everybody yeah. is like that not yeah. everybody is rooting the other person on and to hear that there's a right. generation of kids coming up like that yeah. it's really a great thing oh. here we go <laughs> look at that that's okay. the one the experience we've had with terry was phenomenal i mean she is definitely an approachable person that can just answer any question you throw her away um yeah she's a very very down-to-earth person um you know she's she's very open um, you can ask her anything you want and she just keeps it very simple. 